Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Veera, Cloud Architect. Today we are going to discuss about S3 Crash Region Replication. Crash Region Replication is a feature available in AWS S3 that allows you to automatically replicate your data across regions. For this, we need two uh, bucket in a different uh, regions or like we can have uh, with the same so we need a uh, two buckets with same set of permissions and we have to enable the uh, bucket versioning option also uh, we need to have a rule uh, to do the replication for the objects and then we have to create a IAM role to access another S3 uh, bucket once uh, these things are done like we can uh, test whether the uh, replication objects has been received in the destination bucket without wasting any time let me get into demo this is my account I'm going to choose s3 I have couple of uh, buckets so in this I am going to choose this bucket as a source bucket and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another bucket in a different region. So this is North Virginia. I'm going to choose another bucket in Mumbai. So I'm going to give a replication for hosting demo cloud synapse this is going to this is going to be by uh, bucket name and i am choosing a aws uh, region called mumbai and then like since we have the uh, previous bucket so i am going to choose that uh, bucket settings for this bucket let me choose this option choose bucket so I have got the same access to the uh, destination bucket as well so I'm going to acknowledge this and then the versioning is enabled already so this is what I have discussed in the earlier uh, slide so we have to enable the bucket versioning that's all first all the setting is as it is I'm going to create a destination bucket So now, now I have source bucket and destination bucket. So this is my source bucket, right? So I'm going to create a grass region replication in on my source bucket. So my source bucket has already one object. So uh, now I'm going to uh, go to like management. In the management, we have replication rules. So we have to create a rule for replication create replication rule and then give a name for it I'm gonna give a replication rule and then status is enabled that is fine and whether we are going to uh, make this entire bucket replication or we are gonna have the particular folder replication if you have the folder replication we have to choose this option and then we can give the folder prefix but currently I am going to uh, apply uh, to entire bucket then we have to specify the bucket whether it is gonna be in a same account then we can choose this option if it is a different account we can choose this option and we can give the 12 digit account id we can get it from here so if you have the another account we have to give that uh, destination bucket uh, account id and then bucket name but here i am going to use my same account so i am going to choose the choose a bucket on this account and then browse your s3 bucket so this is going to be my destination bucket i am choosing this 
choose the path so that's all so now I have to create a IAM role if you have already IAM role we can uh, select this option to uh, choose the existing otherwise we have to create IAM role for this just give a name okay I'm gonna give a new create new role so AWS will automatically create a new role for me so that's everything if you want to do any encryption on destination side we can choose it otherwise like whatever we have the storage classes we can choose that option otherwise we can leave it as it is so far now I'm going to leave rest of the objects like you know rest of the uh, options as it is so here like you know there are few more options like uh, replication time control like we can make a bit faster otherwise like you know if you enable this it will be like you know very faster so and then we have a delete market option and uh, replica modification things those options are available but I'm not going to choose anything for now just save it so my rule is created now I'm good to do uh, like you know replication so here the final option the are you going to add the existing object if you say no then uh, this replication will happen uh, like whatever we are doing after this otherwise like uh, like if you choose yes like what are the uh, objects available earlier that one also will be copied okay so I'm going to uh, copy this object as well so the previous objects as well so I'm choosing yes replicate ex existing object that's everything and now I'm gonna give save destination path we have to give I have chosen the path that's all save it so the replication is ready now now let me quickly go to my destination bucket and check the object whether it is received from source or not so let me go back s3 sorry let me go back to the s3 buckets buckets and then I will show the destination bucket so because since like we have chosen the normal option it will take little time to uh, upload the files so I'm just refreshing and I will do one more thing in the meanwhile I'm gonna upload some more files in the source bucket so that that one also will be replicated let me select this option so already I have the index.html I'm going to upload some more files add file and then I'm gonna give this pptz as well upload the file is being uploaded in a source and also it will be uploaded in destination okay I hope everything is succeeded this is my source let me go back to my destination bucket now if you come here we can find the objects the earlier objects also available and the current one also available so it will take little more time to receive the new object yeah I have received that one too so this is how we can do the replication cross region replication so that's everything for now let's catch up with next video thanks for watching